We want to talk about button load cells. Small, low profile load cells, varying capacity, some very low, some kind of high. We see these up to 10,000 pounds or more, actually. Um, and the difficulties that is involved in trying to calibrate these, one of which is the cable that is generally attached to the small button load cells. And obviously the little bit of space that you're trying to work with when you're trying to put this in any kind of calibration machine. And some of the ways we've come up and the adapters we use to overcome those difficulties. Trying to load these with just a flat block on top. As you can see, there's very little space in there to work with. And it's hard, can be difficult to center this all up and get it to sit straight in your calibration machine. What we use here at Morehouse are these little ball adapters for a load cell like this that has a load button in the center of it. It has an index cut into the bottom of the adapter so it centers itself up on there. And then of course, you load through the ball on the top. It gives you a, a precise point to apply your force and will give you a more accurate centered force application on the, this little tiny load cell itself. This cable presents the problem when it comes to getting this to sit in your machine properly. As you can see, this weighs almost nothing. So when you put it up there, it tries to pull the load cell around. Um, you can hang the cable, which will help. But <clears throat> what works best for us is a base adapter that's cut out to the diameter of the specific button load cell that you're calibrating and then it has a, a notch cut into it for the cable to pass through. So it sits right in there, fits it in nice and snug, keeps it from moving around and the cable clears it, doesn't hit on anything so it stays out of the way. And then <clears throat> this has enough weight to it to keep the load cell from moving around with the center of the machine. So that just sits up there load cell sits right there in it and as you can see it doesn't move around so much as easily um, the cable will still try and flip it up out of there so you still have to make sure you control the cable as you can see that makes it much easier to put that small load cell onto the stage beam onto your loading surface and be able to apply the force on top of it without having to worry about that little load cell moving around on you. <clears throat> and then like I said, we have this button adapter that will slide right on top of it there. And now that load cell will stay centered in that base because it's cut to fit right around it. And the index on the bottom of that top adapter will keep it lined up on the load cell so everything stays together and doesn't move around, makes it easier to load up. When we apply the load, when it comes down onto that ball adapter, it loads up nice and straight every time. And you don't have to worry about that load cell coming out of the machine or moving around or where was it sitting when I loaded it the last time? Do I have to move it? Everything lines up the way it's supposed to and you'll get good consistent results from your little button load cells, which with other adapters, we all know can be difficult at times. They're not easy to calibrate in a lot of machines. So proper adapters go a long way in helping make sure that your load cell stays where it needs to be, that you apply the load in the proper location consistently every time you apply a load and you'll get good solid results from your calibration and you'll be able to get good use out of these small little load cells.